So we're going to use the limit definition of derivative to find the slope of the tangent line to this curve f of x equals 3x squared at this x value of 2. So if we think about this just real quickly, um, what does the graph of 3x squared look like? Well, it's a parabola. It's been stretched by a factor of 3, so it's going to look something along these lines, but it hasn't been shifted left, right, up, or down. Um, if we think about an x value of 2, that's going to be over here on the right-hand side. A tangent line to this curve is going to be positive slope, um, but we really don't know what it is just yet. So let's jump right into using this limit definition of derivative. So we can say f prime of x is going to be the limit as h approaches 0. The first thing we're going to do as we look over here at this definition is we're going to plug x plus h in for the x in the original function. So we can say that's 3 times x plus h quantity squared and then we subtract away f of x or the original function. So I'm just going to copy down the original function 3x squared. And that's all going to be over h. Next, let's go ahead and see if we can simplify this further. So I'm going to bring along the limit as h approaches 0. Next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and write two copies of x plus h multiplied together. That's what that exponent can mean, is two copies of the base multiplied together. So we still bring along the limit as h approaches 0. And why we can't just plug that in is if we replaced our h with 0, we'd be dividing by 0, and that's not allowed. Okay, next, let's go ahead and multiply this out. So I'm bringing the 3 along. I'm going to go first, outer, and last for those two binomials. So x squared plus xh plus another xh plus h squared minus that 3x squared comes along. Okay, from here, again, keep bringing this limit as h approaches 0 along step to step to step. Um, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 to the inside of that set of parentheses and clear out the set of parentheses. So that's going to give us 3x squared. And because we have two of these xh's, I'm going to go ahead and say that's 2xh's. But as I distribute my 3, that'll make plus 6xh's plus 3h squareds, distributed in 3 there, minus 3x squareds just comes along. From here, let's go ahead and combine some like terms. We have positive 3x squared minus 3x squared. So those are allowed to cancel each other out or make 0x squareds. Bring along our limit as h approaches 0 one more time here. Now we have 6xh plus 3h squared all over h. So this limit as h approaches 0, remember the h in the denominator is the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a common factor of h from each of those terms in the numerator. And I do realize there's both a 3 and an h in common, but we're mostly focused on that h. That'll leave us with 6x plus 3h inside of our set of parentheses. And at this point, because we have factored an h out of the numerator, and we have an h in our denominator, h over h makes 1, so those can cancel each other out or make a 1. This leaves us with 6x plus 3h remaining, but now we're allowed to plug that 0 in for our h, okay? because h is not in the denominator anymore. As we plug that in, that's going to give us 6x plus 3 times 0. So our derivative, f prime of x, that's what this whole definition is about, right? That's what we started with, is equal to 6x. So to finish this up, we want to define the slope of the tangent line, f prime, at an x value of 2. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 2. We're going to get 6 times 2, which works out to be 12 for the slope of our tangent line. As we guessed at the beginning, it was going to be a positive slope, um, so 12 makes sense. Hope this helps out. Just take your time step by step. Uh, don't lose any terms along the way. Be careful about negatives. Good luck.